get brand orientation. We don't have a very sophisticated way of ensuring that we mapped out the entire area, but with this approach, we don't have to waste a lot of time thinking about it, and hopefully we can cover enough ground that uh, random chance will get us pretty good coverage. Just looking around, um, we take our pictures fairly quickly. We, we have a rather straightforward descriptor that allows us to process an image fairly quickly compared to some ethics. It takes us a little under a second usually, so we have a very good frame rate and we just don't have a lot of specificity as to what images we prefer to spend time on. We, we have a, a very wide net that we cast. Right now, we're headed back to the corner. Doesn't really have anything in his field of vision at the moment. We'll see if we can find something. I think the people are a little interesting, but you're not that interesting, I suppose. We actually have two different descriptors working uh, to attempt to classify the images. One of them is the very widely accepted SERP, which is a attempt to speed up the SIP method, the pretty much the de facto feature descriptor for object recognition. Uh, we also have a homebrew method that was my colleague Michael's master's thesis that is color-based. And color is a fairly fickle approach to detecting objects. It very rarely has anything to do with whether or not you're actually seeing what you're seeing. But when it does, it can be very useful. So I think it's a fairly simple uh, yet effective way of identifying recognizable color patterns that are based on pairs of color.
object is really in the environment for this robot. There's only a Yeah, so I mean it was taking a shot. 